what is up my name is Jay and in this video we're gonna talk about custom fields all right we're gonna use this free plugin but actually they have a pro version but we're gonna use the free version for this video so I'm gonna post this link on the description so you can go there download the plugin and read a little bit about it all right now I have this website right here. As you can see, it's very basic. I'm gonna click here on the about page, about me page. And you can see it's a little bit different. You have a, you know, like a full width template and stuff. The home page have like a sidebar. All right, so the thing is that I want to add a big image right here before the title of my page, right before this orange block. I wanna add a big image, but I want to have the option to upload this image on the page. So if I click on edit page, I want that option somewhere around here or maybe here, you know, like a button that says upload image or upload the top huge image or whatever. So I can click there and upload my image. I can remove the image so I can change it to another one right here on the page. You can see here that I already have my custom fields plugin installed. So I'm gonna go there to make that happen. All right, we have here field groups. Let's click add new. Field group is gonna be, I don't know, big image or whatever you want. In here on the field, we gotta add a new field. So let's click there. Field label, this is what you're gonna see on the page. So it's gonna be like upload the big image. It can be whatever you want. This, it can stay like that, or you can change it. And here on the field type, this is very important. You're gonna have all these options, numbers, email, password, image, file, checkbox, all this list right here. So what I need is an image. I'm gonna click there. You can add more details about that specific field. It's required, no, you can, change it to yes if you want. And it's gonna be, I want the image URL. And you're gonna see why I want that in a minute, okay? That's what I want. And the size, I want it to be full size. And all this is gonna stay like that. Scroll down a little bit. And this is very important, the rules. So I'm gonna click here. And you can see that I can, you can choose like post, ca post category. You can go to the page page template, attachment. So you have all these options. I'm gonna choose page template because I have a page named full width page. So let's take a look again at my about me page. Let's click edit page. Look, I have here full width page template on the about me page, all right? So I want to have the option to upload that image if you have your page with this specific template, okay? That's what I want. So page template is equal to full width template. If, that, if this is true, if this rule is true, then we're gonna have the option to upload that image. And you can add more rules, okay? It's not only one, you can add like, and, if this post type or whatever is equal to or is not, or, and you, you know, it can get pretty complicated with the rules, but I'm just gonna put it simple. Like, you know, if the page template is full width, we're gonna have the custom field available for us. All this, I'm gonna just leave it like that. I'm not gonna touch it, all right? I'm happy with it. Everything looks cool. I'm gonna click publish, all right? Awesome. Now, this field name, we're gonna use it later because I, now I need to add a code to my template. Because right now, I want it right here, right before my title, my page title. So I'm gonna go to my text editor and here I have my theme. So I'm gonna go to my, right here, page full width. That's my template, so I'm gonna click there. All right, this is the template. Now, you can see here that we have the title. I want to add the code 
right here. So it's going to be an image. So I'm not just going to throw an image right here. So you can see this is very, very simple. All right, image source. Let's close it. Now I need the URL of the image right here, but this URL is going to be created by the plugin because I'm going to upload this image using the custom field. So I'm going to show you right now. Let's go to advanced custom fields, documentation. Let's go to code examples. And here we have our code. This is the code we need right now. Of course, there's a lot of more stuff here. It can get very, very, very complicated and very amazing and awesome. But this is all I want for now. So I'm going to copy that code. I'm going to go to my text editor again. I'm going to paste it right here. And all I need to change right now is this field name. All right, so let's go back to my WordPress. Let's copy my field name right here. Let's go to the code. Let's paste it right there. Let's save that. Let's go to my about me page. Let's click edit page. Let's scroll down a little bit. Let's see if we have. Ah, oh, you're so beautiful. There we have it. We have here the upload, upload the big image. And we have a button to upload the image. So I'm going to click there. I have a image, like a huge image right here. I'm going to select that image. You will see a preview right here. You can remove the image. You can edit the image. And now let's update the page and let's see what happens. All right, let's view the page. Look at that, guys. Look at that. We got the image. Now we have a problem. The image right now, as you can see, because it's a huge image and it's in pixels right now, is going all the way. So I'm just going to edit the width of the image. Very simple CSS. So I'm going to go to my CSS file. Actually, let's add a class to this image. If you don't know CSS or you know HTML, maybe you're a little bit confused right now. So if you go and take some basic tutorials of uh, CSS and HTML, it helps, okay? So I added a class of big image. I'm gonna go here and create that class. And all I'm gonna do is add a width of, of 100, all right? So I'm gonna go here, like image.bigImage. .image. I'm gonna save it. All right, save it here too. Let's reload this page. There you go. Beautiful. Is that simple? Now, let's change the image. Let's change it. Let's remove this image right here and let's add a new one. Let's put this one right here. Actually, this is a huge image. But let's let's see how it looks. Let's update. Let's view the image. I mean the page. And look at that. Beautiful. Awesomeness. All right, guys. So that's it. That's the power of custom fields. And that's the basic. All right. I'm showing you the basics. You can go, you can go crazy with this. Okay. So I hope you like this video. If you want to keep learning, subscribe because I'm uploading one video every week. Okay. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.